Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I've created this makeup look which is perfect to go on a red dress and I've kept the focus mainly on a bold lip because a red lip goes really well with a red dress if you match it properly and the rest of the makeup I've kept pretty neutral so that it doesn't take your attention away from the bold lip. So if you're interested in knowing how I got this look, then please keep on watching. So to prime my face, I'm just spritzing Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Essence all over my face. This will just hydrate my face a bit since there was nothing on my face, no skincare. Next, I'm applying sunscreen because I'm doing this makeup during daytime. And I'm using this Dot & Key Watermelon Cooling Sunscreen. I really like this one. It's almost over. That's why it's making this weird puss puss sound. Just applying a generous amount of it. I usually apply even more than this. But since I'm going to be home, I'm not applying more. And this one is really lightweight, so it absorbs really quickly. Next, I'm applying Smashbox Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control Primer and focusing on my T-zone because it's really humid nowadays and my T-zone gets very oily. The oil peaks through my makeup and uh, it starts creasing. Instead of layering a lot of skincare, I've been focusing a lot on mattifying and setting my makeup. I like doing makeup, but I've been applying a lot of powder lately because it's really hot and humid right now. I live in Goa. Next, I'm applying Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and I'm applying on the sides of my face and I'm using my foundation brush and just blending it out it actually doesn't make a huge difference since I'm going to be adding base products and powder and everything this is perfect for a dewy and no makeup makeup look for a heavy makeup look it doesn't make any difference it just adds like a slight glow from within look if you're not going very heavy on the base for the concealer I'm using the Elegal Pro Conceal in the shade Pure Beige These I don't apply foundation. I just focus concealer on where I require and then I don't feel the need to apply a foundation. If I'm not applying concealer, then I apply foundation, but I use it like a concealer. I just apply it on certain spots and then I blend it out. Like I'm not used to applying a full face of foundation. For the videos, I do sometimes, but uh, for my regular makeup look, if I'm going out and all, I don't end up applying foundation all over my face. I look like an Adivasi right now. <laughs> I'll come close to the camera so you can see it in detail. Just blending out the concealer. Whatever is left on the brush, I'm also applying on my eyelids. For the foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Cashew. Usually, I mix lighter shades in it because this is slightly darker for me. But right now, I'm tanned. I had gone to Vietnam. So, I get tanned really easily. So, we were out every day, of course. That's how I got tanned. Now, this foundation will fit me perfectly. I just like to dot it all over. Sometimes I dot, sometimes I pick it up directly depending on my mood. And I'm using my brush to blend it out. This brush is from Real Techniques if you're wondering. It's really travel friendly, very chotu, so I like it. Okay, I'm having battery issues for camera. So I have two batteries and one of them is spoiled. So I have to work with one and the current one is almost over. So I'll just charge it. And then I'll resume my video, it's just content creator things. Hi, I'm back with battery charge. I did my eyebrows off camera, also wore earrings and rings. I thought it wouldn't be interesting filling in my eyebrows in the video, so I did it off camera. Now let's brighten the under eyes. I'm using this Swiss Beauty Concealer. I really like this one, it blends really easily. I'm applying it on the sides of my nose. I've been doing it since a long time. It's kind of like reverse contouring. So if you brighten this area, your nose looks slimmer. So I mostly apply the brightening concealer over here. And I don't focus a lot under my eyes. Maybe just one dot and one dot here. That's it. So I like everything about this concealer. The price is really affordable. Shade is really nice. It blends really easily. But I don't use this concealer when I'm going out. Because there's one thing I don't like about this and that is 
if it gets into my eyes for any reason like if i'm rubbing my eyes or if i'm sweating and it just somehow gets into my eye my eyes start watering like crazy it stings my eyes a lot so that's the only thing i don't like about it other than that formula and the product in general is really good i don't know why it irritates my eyes so much so i mostly use it when i'm filming my video because usually after filming videos i end up removing my makeup so i don't really have to sit with this concealer for a long time and i like the finish of it like how it looks in photos and videos so that's why i use it now for the powder i'm using my mixture of powders so I have mixed Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Light and Huda Beauty Loose Powder in the shade Sugar Cookie. I don't think you get that shade anymore. So I always mix those two while applying it. So I thought why not just mix it and keep it in a container instead of mixing it each time. So I mixed it in this container before going to Vietnam. So that's how I traveled with the powder. And this container is from Becca. I had the Becca powder earlier in this and it's really easy to travel with. So. I did that and this is the perfect combination because the Maybelline Fit Me powder my under eyes look really cakey if I use that and the Huda Beauty one doesn't have much coverage so if I mix the two I just get best of both worlds and I take some powder I dab it on my hands so that I don't take too much and for the first layer I just lightly dab it I don't directly take a lot And I'm using this powder puff. This is the best thing to apply powder. I like it even better than a sponge. I used to use sponge earlier. But since past one or two years, I've been using this sponge. It's from Amazon and it's the best thing ever. I'm also applying the powder on my T-zone because I get really oily there. Also some on my face. I usually don't powder my face, but it's really humid. As I mentioned earlier, the oil peaks through and I sweat a lot. The sweat peaks through. So to make my makeup long lasting, I have been applying powder throughout my face. My body is looking like a complete different color right now, but that's because I'm tanned. Also applying on my eyelids to set it properly. And I also use a compact powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I love this. This is the best compact powder I've ever used. And uh, it's almost over too. I'm gonna repurchase it because it's too good and uh, i use it to apply powder on the rest of my face it sets the makeup well it blurs your pores but at the same time it does not feel powdery if you know what i mean if you have dry skin this is a really great powder it feels hydrating you know for the blush i'm using this mac blush in the shade melba so since we are going with a red lip go for neutral blushes and also i'm wearing a red dress uh, so if you're wearing a red dress Keep your blush neutral, keep your makeup neutral, especially if you want your focus to be on your lipstick. And I want my focus to be on lipstick in this makeup. So I'm just keeping the rest of the makeup neutral. I'm also using Hula bronzer and slightly contouring my nose with it. Now for the eyeshadow again, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm using this Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette and I'm using this shade called Sandalwood and I'm just filling in my lid. If you're going to apply a red lip, then keep your eyeshadow minimal and if you want to do a smoky eye or a dramatic eyeshadow or you know a golden cut crease and things like that then go for a nude lipstick because you don't want a lot of things to go on your face i mean unless you love a really dramatic look but to balance the look out either do a dramatic eye or dramatic lip but since i'm going for a red lip i'm not doing anything crazy for the eyes just applied this shade all over my lid just for some color and also under my eyes and I'm skipping mascara because I have got eyelash extensions so it's been more than a month since I got them 
uh, so some of them have fallen off just giving a quick spritz just to melt the powders a bit next i'll be highlighting my inner corners and brow bone for that i'm using this shade called moon dust Next, I'll just apply some mascara on my eyebrows. Just a little bit. I'm using this Nykaa mascara. I don't like this one for my lashes. It just doesn't do anything to them. But since the wand is really tiny, I like to apply mascara on my lower lashes with it. So first, applying on my lower lashes. Just using the tip and slightly applying to the ends of it. And just applying a bit on my eyebrows, not too much. We don't want shin chan eyebrows. We're just halka halka sa. I'm adding. And also, this mascara has dried off a bit since it's really old. So that's why it doesn't apply too much of it, which makes it easy to apply on brows. Next, applying Mac Soft and Gentle Highlighter. So before applying highlighter, I always uh, like to spray my face with a setting spray because the dampness makes the highlighter pop. So as you saw, I applied some spray on my face and I let it dry a bit. Don't apply highlighter on wet face unless you want a patchy look. So just let it dry a bit and when you have like hydrated skin, that's when you should apply a highlighter. If you apply it on too matte and powdery face, then the highlighter doesn't really pop. It looks chunky. For the lip liner, I don't have a red lip liner with me. So I'm using this Nykaa lip liner which I've been using since years now. I need to get a new lip liner. I've been just too conjuice and I'm not getting new lip liners. This is not red but I'll make it work. For the lipstick I actually was confused. I swatched some lipsticks uh, to see which one matches my dress. And I finally picked this one up. This is the Nykaa liquid lipstick in the shade Yin Yang. This one had the perfect neutral tone among the lipsticks I had and it matched my dress the most. Using a lip liner really helps when you're applying a red lipstick because you want the lines to be sharp and it gets difficult with a wand to do that. So this is the look. I'll just do something about my hair because it's looking ugly, ugly. So there you go, that is your makeup look, perfect for a red dress. This makeup look and this dress combination is perfect for special occasions like anniversaries or Valentine's Day or even your birthday if you really love this red look. And I've created a makeup look after a really long time because they were not performing well on my channel, especially the long format ones. But let me know if I should do more of these. So if you love these kind of videos, I will definitely do more more of them because I enjoy creating makeup vlogs. So yeah, that's it and uh, let me know in the comments down below if you liked this look. I loved it. I used red lipstick after a really long time and I'm in love. And if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Saturday and I will see you in my next video. Bye!